it's such a different uh, political avenue we're going to start walking down because since the dawn of democracy, it's always been the ANC with the majority in Parliament. So I think we're all trying to just wrap our heads around how this would work. But on the ANC, they've now come out, and despite denying this in the build-up to the elections, which is not terribly surprising, if I'm honest, they wanted an outright majority, no coalition talk. Now they have to. One of the big talking points... Uh, between pundits has been this potential ANC DA coalition. Do you think that could work? I'll tell you why, because you were just talking about having to be able to work together. But ideologically, on some points, the, the two parties, ANC and DA, they differ so, so much. And the, the NHI comes to mind, employment equity comes to mind, the land question comes to mind, the f funding of state-owned enterprises comes to mind. They are so, so different. Could this be a bad marriage that works for the sake of the children, or would it not work in your mind? Uh, I think that's an interesting point, and everyone has been raising this point that we look at between the ANC and DA. But remember, the ANC is not a, a unitary party, you know, so in, in looking at, in terms of these binaries, we need to look at in terms of the tripartite alliance between the South African Communist Party, the role that Kusuatu would play in these negotiations, as well as the ANC. But you, you're right, you know, from an ideological perspective, the ANC is probably further away uh, from the DA. But there we need to distinguish between political ideology and, and policy. So when you distinguish between political ideology and policy, if we look at, for example, these guys, uh, these political parties, uh, they will not have a two-third majority. So ultimately what you, what you can project is that policy will guide pol uh, politics.